as we head into the all-important qualifying session. The drivers are raring to go, and we're just waiting for the lights to go green to signify the start of the qualifying hour. Last year, we saw a wonderful race here in Malaysia, and I'm expecting another fascinating weekend to come here in Kuala Lumpur. Well, there are at least three or four other drivers that could be strong contenders for a front row start tomorrow. So it's difficult to predict who will come out on top, but it's certainly going to be an exciting qualifying session today. So there we are on the grid of the qualifying in Malaysia. So let's go to do some laps. Gonna try my best. So let's go to do some laps. So let's see how will our two laps will be. So we're gonna do two laps. So this is the first one. And I'm gonna try to do my best. Lose here the, the racing line, and that's why we got off the grass. Oh, we lose again the racing line, and that's that's not gonna help us at all up. Again, late break there through the penultimate corner, but coming now through the box straight. Going now through the last corner, we lose the brakes a bit, run a bit wider. But that's gonna be actually our one and only lap in this qualifying session. So let's see where we end up and is on pole position for tomorrow's race we certainly appreciate how good a qualifying lap that was truly spectacular now can he deliver the same type of performance tomorrow i for one cannot wait to find out so yeah we ended up the qualifying session in second position so we're gonna start next race in second position so let's go to the grid and welcome from Sepang, where the cars and drivers are getting ready to start the Malaysia Grand Prix. Unless you've been living under a rock, you might have seen reports of Nico Rosberg claiming he's going to win this weekend's race. But he was so confident he was claiming victory long before we arrived. Securing pole position for today's race, though, means he's very likely to be following up on those bold claims. You can never be sure if qualifying pace will turn into race performance. It often depends on how focused the car setup was for a single lap on new tyres. But even if he's slightly slower than those around him, he'll be trying to make his car as wide as possible on track to defend his position. Lots of sunshine and beautifully still conditions here for today's race. The temperature on track is high, which will pose certain challenges for the teams. Racing tyres are designed to have a specific window of operating temperature where they're at their best. If the temperature is outside of this, the tyre is not at its maximum potential. There we are on the grid of the Malaysian Grand Prix, starting from second position. So, yeah, hope I can win this race, but it's gonna be very hard. But let's see the race strategy. We're starting the the game tell us to start on options, have a pit stop on options again on lap nine or ten, and then have another second pit stop on prime tires. So for prime tires on lap eighties or nineteenth, and then finish this race with these tires so if we want to win this race we need to do the strategy but let's start a race and it's like that and away we go guys and there we go another flying start from Nico Rosberg I think Hamilton is on our side yeah yeah Hamilton is on our side we're gonna try to outbreak Nico Rosberg for the lead of the Grand Prix and here we go oh we hit Hamilton we hit Hamilton and there's the accident there's an accident as we hit Hamilton. Oh my god, we hit Hamilton so badly there. That's not that good at all. 
unfortunately we didn't get a penalty so that's that's the the good so let's try to extend the lead and see what's going to happen now on to lap 5 time we started to kick off time the tires decided to kick off as we make the mistake here and we run wide into the penultimate corner so that means that we must go for the pit stop so let's go yes I know Jeff uh, let's go for the set of option tires coming into the pit so let's try to do our best after this pit stop so actually Anyways, just see the the pit from the Ferrari guys. Exit, exit so it's a two point four second pit for the Ferrari guys, but I'm gonna exit behind Ricardo. Yes we are, we're gonna exit behind Ricciardo, that's not gonna help us, and the strategy is a bit fucked up now after this, but let's see, what can we do to this set of tires. Fighting now onto lap 9, we have Nico Rosberg, Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel exiting the pit stops, can we actually jump them into the pit stops and get back into the lead of this race? So we passed Hamilton, we passed... Fettel and we passed and Rosberg get out ahead of us He got out of the pit stops ahead of us but he is too slow through these first corners and now down the inside we didn't we're not having a touch we, don't, we didn't have contact so it's a clear overtake and we're up to the leads why is he why Jeff is talking up my voice so anyways yeah we're into the lead of Grand Prix as we look up our wheels again as we have this set of tires five laps I'm gonna stay with this set of tires for three or two more laps don't know because it's pretty bad for the moment as we go and cut our first corner cut in this race Malaysia is not one of the tracks that I really like but it's alright at the moment so yeah as we're in the lead, actually we're not in the lead, it's Squid in the lead who has to make his speech to now yeah was there some... anyways, let's see now what can we actually do and how will the race go, cause I think I'm gonna get for a set of grind tires in the next bit so let's see what we're going to do going now on to lap 12 we have a really good battle with uh, Nico Rosberg going through the last corner now, trying to to pack uh, the apex, to pack the car in the apexes to defend well. Nico Rosberg is now having the DRS and the OP slips from him now going down the inside. Nico Rosberg goes down the inside of us and he's into the lead. Oh god, that was so close! We tried to cut him again. And we go down the inside again and now he's changing line, trying to cut me there, trying to have a better race than me. But we're still in the lead of this race. Okay, quick fuel update. There's 30 kilos left. We have 30 kilos of fuel remaining. So we have 30 kilos of fuel left. So that's pretty okay. Okay, not the options. I want the prime, guys! No! The prime! Yes, the primes! There we go! Now Rosberg has a better exit, we'll lose traction into the exit of this corner now. Rosberg's gonna try to let it down the inside, but no, seems like he's, he's not got the balls. His driver needs to overtake me through this corner, so box, 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 yes, no. Um, gonna we're gonna get in the pits of a set of prime tires in this lap and try to finish the race with this tire so it's gonna be really hard. I think this tire is much longer just for 8 laps because they're not that fresh I believe. Because the tire way is pretty bad in Malaysia. And I think that at the same time Federal is trying to overtake Rosso. We're gonna try our teammate, we're gonna try to help our teammate here by blocking Rosso back. We got into the pit stop and Rosberg stayed there and 
first position, but let's go into the pit stop and see how the pit stop is from the Ferrari guys. It's at 2.4, tell it 2.5, it's not a good pit stop from the pit stops that we have seen in other videos, so let's go and try as many as we can now as we exit behind uh, a bug a Maldonado as we exit behind the bug marker who is Maldonado but anyways we're gonna try to last with these tires as much as we can so let's see what we're gonna do now these tires go Carter got to lap 18th we have the Williams cleared and Fed elected the pit so, so now we behind Vettel into fourth position, so that's not gonna help us. But Vettel has has gold tires, so there's a bit of a chance to overtake him. As the tires started to kick off, actually, guys, so they didn't last that much. So let's see if we can overtake uh, Vettel as we cut this corner a bit. Uh, and now let's see. Oh, the Vettel is just low through this fast left and right corners and now we've overtaken Fettel and let's see what can we do with this set of tires so remember Hamilton on the start of the video when I bumped him to tell it he's ahead of us he's back and he's ahead of us and still in our position for this podium the tires are really bad we're gonna go for another pit stop unfortunately and we're gonna go with the option tires so let's try to do something you know it's pretty try to do something as you can see we cannot stay on the racing line we always like break the corners and we're pretty bad there as uh, now i don't know let's try to do something we're gonna get into the pit stops now for a set of option tires so let's see how will the pitch be on the Ferrari guys. <coughs> Sorry. It's a 2.3, so that's a pretty decent pit stop there. And Let's see now, what can we do with these tires? I think we lost any chance of winning this race. We had chances for podium and we lost them. So the strategy destroyed us. So there's no any chance of taking the podium or winning the race. Cutting now onto the last lap, we have... We literally lost any chance of taking the podium. But what the... It's a cross on the third sector on the penultimate corner. Where a bug marker Perez is blocking Rosberg, Master Bottas and three other backmarkers I'm gonna get down the inside of every single of these cars and we're up to third position going now to the last straight and we finished in a third position how lucky we are So it was the German national anthem that was played on the podium for our race winners today, Mercedes. Indeed, they'll be ecstatic with that result and they should be. It was a fantastic drive. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. Of course, it was an amazing ending in this race. We finished third after a very lucky accident with Perez and three back walkers and Bottas and Rosberg and Wasser. It was amazing. It was just I was just so lucky. I finished the third position. So, yeah, let's see now the drivers' championships, the drivers' standings. Sorry, guys. But before we go, I need to explain you what the fuck happened. It was pretty mad. And amazing, you saw that. It was uh, amazing. Just oh good. Now coming now into the driver standings with third or tell it second with the same points as Sebastian Fett 20 points behind William Hamilton and there is a uh, Rosberg four points behind both of us both the Ferrari so let's see now the constructor championship we third we second 60 points behind the Mercedes and then third are the Williams with 38 points so 
that was the video for today guys if you enjoyed smash the like button if you, if you haven't subscribed already subscribe follow me on twitter and on instagram like my facebook page is formula one and tbackers gaming ask me anything you want on ask fm but i think i need to do lads i'll see you next time goodbye lads